hydrogen fuel cells, which will dominate heavy-duty freight. Electric trucks versus hydrogen fuel cells, which will dominate heavy-duty freight. The freight world is standing at a crossroads. Emissions rules are tightening, shippers are demanding cleaner supply chains, and fleets are being forced to decide electric trucks or hydrogen fuel cells. This isn't a fad, it's the next industrial revolution on wheels. The push for zero emissions. Heavy-duty freight creates almost a quarter of U.S. transportation emissions. The U.S. EPA's Phase 3 rules kick in by 2027. California will require all new truck sales to be zero emission by 2040. And Europe? A 90% emissions cut by 2040. Every fleet has to choose its path to compliance, and the race is between batteries and hydrogen. Batteries and hydrogen, the first mover advantage. Electric trucks are already rolling off assembly lines from Tesla, Volvo, and Daimler. Why fleets love them? Lower operating costs, electricity costs less per mile than diesel. Less maintenance, 40% fewer moving parts. Perfect for cities, no noise, no tailpipe emissions. But the challenge? Range tops out around 300, 500 miles. Charging can take 30, 60 minutes. Battery packs eat up payload space. So BEVs dominate regional and short haul, but struggle with coast to coast freight. Hydrogen, the long haul challenger. Hydrogen fuel cell trucks, FCEVs, generate electricity on board, and they're built for endurance. Fleets get 500, 800 miles per tank, matching diesel. 10, 15 minute refueling, lighter weight, more payload. But the hurdles? Hydrogen costs 10 to our 16 co, still higher than diesel. Only 70 public stations in the US, most in California. Most hydrogen today is made from natural gas, not renewables. Hydrogen's potential is massive, but the infrastructure is the missing link. Cost showdown. Let's break down the economics. Electric trucks. Energy cost. HR Zoller 2 tier 0 30 hours mile. Maintenance, 40% lower than diesel. Higher upfront cost, but falling battery prices. Hydrogen trucks. Energy cost, LR Zoller's $51 mile. Similar upfront cost to BEVs, faster refueling, and longer range. Bottom line, electric wins short haul today. Hydrogen wins long haul tomorrow. The infrastructure race. Neither tech wins without support. The DOE and private investors are building national fast charging corridors. Hydrogen hubs and the EU's hydrogen backbone are funding new refueling networks. But infrastructure costs matter. A megawatt charging site can cost millions, and a hydrogen station can cost even more. The build-out speed will decide adoption speed. What the future looks like, Bloomberg NAF predicts that by 2035, BEVs will hold 30 to 40% of new truck sales worldwide. FCEVs will capture 10 to 15%, mostly in long haul. It's not a winner-takes-all race. It's a dual-power future. How fleets can prepare. Analyze your lanes, short haul versus long haul decides your tech. Follow incentives, federal and state grants can offset costs. Pilot both technologies before going all in. Partner with energy providers to secure early infrastructure. Stay flexible because the market is still stay flexible. Closing, this isn't electric versus hydrogen. It's electric and hydrogen. Two technologies, one mission, cleaner, smarter, more resilient freight. Fleets that invest now, test early, and build the right partnerships will lead the zero emission era. At B Loaded, we don't wait for the future, we charge into it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on transportation topics. Anytime, any place. Be loaded.